And I don't see any sun still, so I must be in the shade somehow. Whew. Getting up on cold days are, uh, are, they're fun. So, pretty good campsite last night. Well, kinda. No water, no power, no showers. But, uh, some disgusting bathrooms and some soft grass, so I'll take it. It's free. <laughs> The tire was really wobbling, like even from standing still, uh, I could wobble the tire. Uh, so it was very disconcerting when riding. So um, it seems to be this here. This is all moving around in there, and it shouldn't move at all. You can see some of the metal has, uh, yeah, doesn't look good. So not really uh, sure what to do about that. Um, it is extremely unstably on this tire. It's already fallen once, and in that fall, it broke the uh, um, the rear disc brake guard. Put it all back together and see where to go from here. Well, it's back together for now. Um, it's still wobbly, quite wobbly. See how far we get. Well, I'm in another motel, so um, took everything apart on the bike, well, the rear wheel part, and uh, I, I can't fix it. And I put it all back together, and it was way worse. So now it's really not drivable at all. It was hardly drivable before. Uh, there's a shop, well, hopefully a shop, the uh, Power Sports place, so let's see if they uh, service motorcycles. Well, they had the part. It was uh, the rear bearing, the rear ball bearing, it just kind of completely gave out. And uh, they had the part, so got it in, ready to go. We can actually continue on the trail, so I'm pretty happy about that. did about uh, 170 miles, which is pretty good for a half day. Um, I wasn't really pushing it too far. I got I got enough time in my schedule. Um, found a pretty cool campsite. It's crazy windy here. I'm hiding behind the little shelter that they have. You can also hear the military jets because there's an Air Force base right over here. Um, but yeah, here's the windy part. Uh, wind should die down later tonight. But uh, yeah, bike's running great. Well, still sounds terrible, but uh, the back wheel feels so much better. Um, so that, that had been going for a while and I just didn't realize it because riding every day and progressively getting worse, just didn't notice it. But it uh, feels great now. Um, should be pretty close to done in four to five days, so pretty cool. Yeah, so I woke up at or about 9:50, and I went to bed at 11:30. So that was that was a lot of sleep. That was that's unusual for me. Uh, I don't usually set an alarm because I'd rather get enough sleep for myself. Um, but uh, that that was a bit longer than usual. So.
saw a little off-road only uh, diversion from the road. Climbed all the way up here. Pretty nice. It's actually pretty chilly today. Um, I mean, actually it's like 65 or so, but uh, driving get a little cold. This this really is. I know I talked pretty a lot of trash about this jacket and everything down south, but this really is the perfect the perfect attire for everything uh, West Oklahoma and after. And the Appalachians. It was good in the Appalachians too. Uh, just uh, crossed over into the. Uh, Pacific Spur versus uh, the rest of the trail back east. Um, so that was a pretty cool moment to see the two two lines and going west instead. So nothing wrong with that view. How many bugs there are on these back roads? It is just you get covered in them. Found a pretty good campsite for the night. A bit expensive, but uh, they have showers, and uh, it's probably gonna rain tonight. So I got the tent all staked down extra well. Um, yeah, I'm in Oregon. <laughs> 